Did you know that one CNC has the powerful ability to suppress the decimal point for specific applications? Let me demonstrate. In this example, you can see we have two holes, and I'm drilling both of these holes with a PEC cycle. Let's quickly go in here and edit the operation, and we're going to take a look at the PEC depth. So let's push through these menus, and we're going to come right here, and you can see that for the PEC amount, I have 0.125. Now, if we were to create the CNC code for this, let's post the operation. I'm just going to use the Haas post processor here. We'll just click post on that. I'm going to overwrite the CNC program, and you can see that for the PEC depth, we have Q.125. Well, what if I don't want that decimal point? Well, it's very easy to do. What we're going to do is this. We're going to come over here. We're going to edit the operation. And then we're going to push through till we get to the PEC amount. And what you want to do is this. Type in the value without the decimal point and hit the space bar. What the space bar is going to instruct 1CNC to do is to treat this as if there was a decimal point, but don't output the decimal point. Let's click finish on that. Now if we post this out, same thing, post operation. Again, we'll use the exact same post processor. Post. Click save on that. And now if we take a look at the CNC code, there you go. You've got Q125 without the decimal point. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.